Hey guys, and welcome to our daily shave. So for those of you who are just joining us here for the first time, these are just my non-review daily shaving videos where I can just show you what I'm using, talk about shaving, just kind of more on a daily basis rather than focusing on the review aspect of shaving. So anyway, today I'm going to do my first part of shave, the top of my face, with my straight razor. So for those of you who haven't seen my previous videos, I am learning how to use a straight razor. I'm about 10 shaves in and uh, I want to keep up my skill set. I haven't really been good with using it consistently, so I want to start making this part of my uh, part of my daily shaves. Try to use it at least once a week. So anyway, I just got out of the shower. In the shower, I washed out my facial hair, get it nice and hydrated, and clean out all the debris to my face. And I am going to do a face lather now. So for my lather today, I'm going to be using Mike's Natural Shaving Soap. This is an absolute top soap for me. Uh, it's right up there with anything else I've used. This was actually my first favorite soap, and I really like it a lot. I just pressed it here into the jar. I've got some bay rum here in the bottom and some coconut here, and they mix together. It's very nice. I'm also going to be using my, uh, this is my Whip Dog 24mm silver tip. I got this from Whip Dog. I'll put a link below. And it's a silver tip and absolute amazing price and it's just a really great brush 24 millimeters it's a huge knot and the tips are incredibly soft it's a really amazing brush I'm just gonna knock out a little bit of the extra water in here and load this up I'm gonna face lather today with this I just want to switch it up a little bit you know I always use my um, boar hair brush for the sake of uh, of not introducing more uh, variables into my lather reviews. Uh, so today I figured this is a great shot to use my uh, my silver tip. So for those of you who don't, uh, who haven't used a straight razor, it's a really, really amazing experience to use a straight razor. It's a great way to test out your shaving skills and to learn more about shaving. All the same principles that you use with a safety razor, like pressure, angle, speed, just become that much more important with a safety razor. And just that feeling of like the bare blade on your skin is just really something amazing. So today I'm not going to do a full shave with the straight razor. The uh, So this is plenty of soap loaded up here. I'm just going to a face lather. I'm adding a little bit of extra water. So this is something I like about Mike's soaps. They can handle a good amount of water. They, they do have tallow in there. They also have lanolin, uh, for those of you who are uh, allergic to it or enjoy the properties of lanolin like I do. Um, but, the, uh, but the soap can handle a very, very wide range of, uh, of water, which I very, very much like. So straight razor, like I said, is just a great way to, to learn more, to get a great shave. My shaves I have with my straight razor are just so smooth. They're really incredible. Um, I've been watching a lot of the videos by Lynn Abrams out there. He is just a huge force in the straight razor world. He's got videos up. He, he has his own website where he sells straight razors. And he's the, he started the forum straight razor place and everything. He, he's, uh, he's huge in the world out there of straight razor shaving. Anyway, he always recommends when you start, just do your cheeks first and then slowly progress once you get more uh, more comfortable using a straight razor. And from the very beginning, I've been shaving my entire face with a straight razor, which is great, but it's just, you know, I feel like it's helped my skill set grow that much more quickly, but it's just kind of a daunting task to jump in with an entire straight razor shave my entire face. So today I'm just going to do my cheeks, then I'm going to use my safety razor to do my uh, my neck. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, if you guys are on Instagram, come on over. You know, I've got a new Instagram channel. It's a great way to, shave, to, to share my daily shaves with you guys. So even though this is like our daily shave video, I still don't tape all my shaving uh, experiences. I try to put up an Instagram photo of every time so you guys can see what I'm using when I'm not filming. So head over there and if you want to join, it's really, it's really fun. It's also great seeing you guys, what you're using over there. I, I very, very much enjoy that and getting feedback. We have some nice discussions there. The slather is really great. I'm adding a little more water. I can take it still. So anyway, if you're on Instagram, come on over and if not, just come check it out if you're interested in kind of seeing more daily, uh, just truly on an every single day, on like in daily, every single shave I'm doing what I'm actually using. I'm sorry episodes haven't been as uh, frequent as they have in the past. Uh, this, this past two weeks I've been traveling, seeing family, 
I'm finishing all my credentialing and getting my medical license from Massachusetts and all that stuff. It's just taking a very, very long time. All right, great lather, very, very easy to lather up. I've got three days of facial hair growth here, so I just wanted to get a really nice lather, get really nice and worked in. All right, so we're gonna start with the straight razor. So this is stropped and cleaned from, I did it um, after I shaved last with this thing. So I got this, this is actually, this is also from Whip Dog, like my brush here. So this is a shave ready uh, vintage razor and you can get these, I think it's like $42. He makes them shave ready, which is just a great deal. This is an absolutely beautiful razor. It's over 100 years old. So anyway, so this is how I grip my straight razor. I need to, uh, I need to uh, clean off my hand here, nice and dry. You do not want to have a slick hand when using this. So you grip it like this is how I grip it, and you want to pull your skin tight so you have something to shave against. Light pressure, good angle. It really is a lot of fun using a safety or straight razor. Once you get over the initial fear, or at least I had fear, it's a really fun experience. And my facial hair grows in this direction on the side of my face, so I go like this. Okay, I'm not going to get my lower goatee area because that area is very sensitive for me and I haven't mastered using a straight yet and I do not want to irritate that part of my face. So now, so when you're shaving your right side of your face, use your right hand, left side, left hand. And it's, uh, it's kind of hard to see. You just got to get, there we go. All right, that was great. Feels very, very nice. I took a little while there to uh, to shave, so I'm gonna dip these uh, the tips of this brush back in the water. I just want to get some lather on my face up here and down here. I just want to re-wet it. All right, so now I'm gonna go to my safety razor. It's a lot of switching back and forth. All right. Oh, I'm using my Edwin Jagger DE89. And this has a feather blade in here, and it's its second shave. Awesome. I really like this lather. Mike's Natural. For those of you who use it, I just absolutely love this soap. I always get great results with it. All right, first pass. Very good. It's so smooth here on my face where I use the, the straight razor. I think it just gets so close so quickly. Nice slickness left behind. Really like that. So I actually add too much. I don't know what I did. I think I dipped it too far in the uh, in the sink here, and some of the lather came out. So I'm gonna have to load up. Yeah, there's a bunch of lather in my sink here. I'm gonna load up a little more soap. All right, and clean off this hand. You have to be really careful when using a straight razor. I mean, this thing is just incredibly incredibly sharp so you need to always make sure your hands dry you don't want to have a poor grip on this thing so I'm also just gonna go with the grain again so I did just cut myself here um, this is the only thing I don't like about this razor is it has this very sharp corner here if you guys can see that yeah very very sharp some of them have a rounded edge and this uh, it's just a point and it's incredibly sharp. I cut myself. It's not that big of a deal though. It's not that bad of a cut. All right. Very good. I'm going to switch hands to my left hand. The left side of my face. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop there with this straight razor. It's good enough. I'm very happy. Did cut myself here and then here a little bit, but whatever just gonna happen great lather here look at this it's all here on my neck still I took a while shave my face there oh I've also noticed it's so much easier for me to shave my face and get a good shave now that the weather is warmed up the air has like more humidity in it it's just a lot warmer outside today it's gonna be like 60 I just get a lot better shaves uh, when the weather is better and I don't know if you guys have noticed that or if that's something that's 
well known, um, but it's definitely something that I've noticed. Very good. Great second pass. My face up here feels amazingly close, so I went with the straight. Very good. All right. Final pass here. Pull out the lather here in the brush. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. It's really dense. All right, so I'm just feeling around and getting where I need to clean up a little bit. All right, very good, nice and close. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up for some final remarks. Alright, that was a very good shave, very close all around. I like the uh, using a straight razor, that was a very good way to use it, I'm happy with that, you know, get some experience but not have to commit to doing a full shave, it still takes me like 30 minutes, 40 minutes sometimes to do a full shave with a straight razor just because I'm not completely comfortable with it. It's a good way to get some more experience under my belt without committing to the full shave. Anyway, um, I'm also happy with the DE89 and feather pairing. Someone had mentioned um, in a comment on another video to pair um, aggressive razors with mild blades and aggressive blades with mild razors. So that'd be like putting like this, like a feather in a DEA9 or when you're using like a slant or like a very aggressive open comb razor, do something a little more mild. So I do like that, like that idea a lot. So that's, uh, and this was a very good pairing. So, good shave, feeling around, nice hydration still in my face. I always get great shaves with mics. Um, I'm going to use this uh, Captain's Choice Cat of Nine Tails Bay Rum. I feel like some Bay Rum today and the burn will be good. This stuff really burns too. Let's get some on my hand. Man, that stuff burns. Alright, there, it's going away. I like the burn though. It's, uh, it's really nice. It's, I don't know why I enjoy it. It's a nice part of shave. Really nice Bay Rum scent. I really like this one a lot. When I was using this like every single shave there, I used it every single shave for a little while there, maybe like a month or so, the burden started going away, like my skin got used to it, but now I didn't use it for a little while, I'm coming back to it, man, it's like it's fresh all over again. Wow. Okay, very good. I did cut myself. These aren't major cuts though, they're going to stop bleeding here soon, I'll just use my stick with pencil. Just dip the tip of it in the water, should be done bleeding now. So anyway, thanks for watching today. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Please let me know if there's something you'd like me to talk about in these videos. I'm really open to shaving, anything else like health related, stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm very interested to share with you guys and to talk. And please let me know if you use a straight razor. I'm interested to see how many of you out there are using safeties or have straights along too. Because I think that there's a lot of you who use safety razors, but I know that there are a few who have straights. And let me know if you have a shavette too. I do have a shavette. I haven't used it yet, so I am excited to give that a shot. And let me know if you also, I'm also interested to hear about using mics. This is one of my absolute favorite soaps, and I think that, and I hope you guys have used it and like it if you do use it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any comments, tips, or questions.